Today I'm going to talk about how to protect your gutters and stormwater pipes and stop them from getting blocked and over overflowing when you live next to gum trees. Gum trees at various times of the year shed leaves, bark and gum nuts and sticks which if they're, if they're close to your house end up on your, on your roof and in your gutters. In our house we've chosen to stop the gutters from, from getting blocked up by mostly installing gutter guard all the way around the house. Here you can see nuts and sticks just on the top of the gutter guard but not, but not obviously in, in the gutters themselves. It's quite a chore otherwise if you don't have gutter guard to, to get your hand between the gutter and, and, the, and the tiles in our case to actually clear the gutters. The gutter guard tends to be self-cleaning mostly. Um, the wind tends to blow the, the things that, that sit on the, um, on the gutter guard off when, in, in, in bursts of strong wind. You still get a little bit of sediment that, that, that gets through the gutter guard but, but this is minor and tends to wash down when, when you get heavy rains. I found one of the most important things to protect with gutter guard is, is the valleys between angled sections of, of the roof. If the valleys get blocked with leaves, nuts and sticks, the water, when it tries to run down the valley, um, can't go anywhere or can't get down and it goes over the edge of the valley and ends up into your ceiling and leaking into your house which nobody wants. Here we have added a pergola to the house and I've chosen not to use gutter guard. The, the gutters around the inside of the uh, pergola are wide box gutters which are wide enough so you can easily get your hand into the gutter to clean out the stuff that collects in the gutter. I chose not to install gutter guard here because you still do get some sediment that goes through the gutter guard and in the end I wouldn't have with gutter guard I wouldn't have a way to clear it out. I've used a, a mesh to link the open section to the the gutter guard section to stop the leaves and nuts, sticks and so on from getting under the gutter guard to the uh, where the, uh, the stormwater pipe exits about here. This section of gutter I've already cleaned by hand but over here is, is what it, what it look, looks, looks like when there's been a lot of uh, bark and nuts and sticks and so on that, that, have, that have come down from the gum trees. What I also tend to do is um, use some sort of mesh to cover the, the stormwater pipe to stop the leaves, nuts and sticks and so on from getting into the stormwater pipe and blocking it and, and being hard to unblock. On the outside of, of the pergola I also chose to use a wide D gutter which, which I can access fairly easily with a, with a ladder. Using the mesh to cover the stormwater pipe does require some maintenance. You can't just leave it because if, if you get too much collection in your gutters, like, like here, and you get a heavy downpour, then the water is going to cascade over the edge of the gutters. My methods of managing the gutters and the stormwaters do require regular maintenance, but, but they work for me. That's all for now. If you like this video, Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye.